Hello guys, Assalamu alaikum and welcome to my channel Edge Attack. Guys, today's video is going to be very interesting for you because friends, in this video, I am going to tell you that how could you implement ad mob banner and interstitial ads to your professional web view Android app. As you know guys, on our channel, there is a web view series going on and this is the last part of that series. If you haven't watched the previous two videos, one is that how to create a professional web view app and the second one is how to create a professional splash screen activity to our uh, web view app so guys before starting the video i will recommend you that please watch those video before watching this video so let's get started so hey guys we are on our computer screen and the link of this website is given in the description you could uh, click on it and come to this website uh, in this video i would be telling uh, how to implement banner interstitial ads to your web view android app for this purpose guys you have to check that these uh, codes are available in your uh, build gradle project file if then it's fine if not then you have to paste those codes over here the other step is that uh, you have to paste these implementation codes to your build gradle module app file control c we have to copy these codes control c and paste to our build gradle module app section over here press enter control v and uh, sync this uh, file so press sync file and uh, now go back to my website over here you have to update your android manifest file for this purpose guys you have to copy this from metadata not from application because you have to paste this metadata codes in application section so we have to copy metadata codes control c go back to android studio and uh, android manifest file and uh, under activity closing activity tag press enter and uh, paste these codes now you have to replace this from uh, google admob app id so uh, let me show you the google admob app id i have given google test ids over here app id of google admob over here guys we have to copy control c go back to android studio and paste this id over here control v now go back to my website and uh, over here scroll down and you will find this initialize mobile ads sdk for this purpose you have to open main activity.java and paste this import com google ads mobile ads uh, codes in import mean to say in package section control c go back to android studio and uh, over here main, act main activity dot java and paste this code over here control v now go back to my website and uh, copy these codes from here to here control c paste this code in protect wide section so over here this is protect void and we have to paste our codes over here control v and we have to paste uh, admob test id over here app test id over here admob app test id control c go back to android studio and over here control v now again on my website scroll down and uh, over here guys now we have to copy these codes and paste these codes in main activity control c go back to android studio and over here activity main.xml first of all guys in activity main.xml you should note that uh, starting and ending tag should be relative layout so i will change this to relative layout and now over here guys you have to paste these codes and uh, replace this from google banner test id okay over here this is the banner test id so we'll replace this control c and over here control v okay so i think all done we have um, now initialized our uh, ads no one one more step is left that is we have to copy these uh, codes import 
package codes in main activity we have to as uh, do something more to load ads control c go back to android studio main activity dot java paste these codes under this control v go back to my website and over here in public class we have to paste this private ad view m ad view control c go back to android studio and over here private under this control v and uh, now go back to my website over here you have to copy these codes to initialize ad view control c go back to android studio and over here press enter and paste these codes now guys you have to go back to my website and that's all you have to just click uh, sync button over here to check if there is an error in our project no guys i don't think so there is an error yes guys no error found in our project so let's run our app in our mobile uh, let me see that it's showing test banner ads or not let's check it out over here as you could see this guys nice job this is a uh, 320x 100 test ad so it's mean that we have implemented test ads correctly in our android uh, studio so let's check that uh, can it show the real ads but it should be tested because if we use uh, real ids real app id and banner id real of our app then um, maybe your ad mob account would be suspended because because it's not allowed for testing purpose we could see this uh, okay so first of all guys you have to create a banner ad in uh, ad mob account and from here you have to copy your app id your app id control c go back to android studio and over here you have to paste in main activity okay so over here i will paste app id control v and uh, in android manifest file also we have to replace control v now we have to replace our banner ad id for this purpose i will copy my own banner ad id from admob account and paste it in activity main.xml over here Control V. Now in main activity dot Java, uh, guys, open my website again. And over here, guys, I have told a method that open lockout in Android Studio to get test device ID. So over here, guys, you have to paste this code. I will tell you right now. Wait. Control C. Just copy this code from here. Go back to Android Studio look at and over here guys you just have to search test okay and uh, you will see this id your device test id so let me copy this id control c uh, now go back to my uh, website and copy this code over here also and uh, we have to paste this code over here builder and we have to press enter over here and paste this code over here and replace your device id from this id okay so let me again select this to copy it control c and i will paste it over here control v let me run my app again okay so finally over here you could see this our um, real ads are showing over but you could see that it's written over test ad uh, before building your app you have to remove this code from here remove this code from here but for testing purpose you could use this code but before building you have to remove this code uh, so that this will remove 
test ad written on your ads now i will tell you that how could you implement interstitial ads to your android app so for this purpose you have to go back to my website and over here you have to click learn to implement interstitial ads so we will click on this and we will redirect it to this page and uh, over here guys um, uh, let me show you that how could you implement so first of all guys we have to come in main activity dot java now go back to my website and over here guys in package section you have to copy paste these codes so i will copy from here control c go back to android studio and paste these codes over here now go back to my website and over here in public class we have to copy these codes and paste these codes over here control c and over here in public class over here control v <clears throat> now go back to my website and uh, copy these codes we have to paste the, these codes in protected void so control c go back to android studio and uh, over here press enter control v <clears throat> now go back to my website again and uh, over here in public void on back pressed we have to replace these codes so i will select these codes from here control c go back to android studio over here on back press so we have to replace these codes from here control v okay so we will create this class alt enter it's showing error over here we have to uh, write another end bracket over here now as you could see this our error is now resolved so guys uh, let me tell you one more thing that uh, after testing for testing purpose uh, like as we tested in banner ads that it will show real ad but test ad will be written over here for this purpose we have to change this test id to our uh, real interstitial ads id and we have to paste this add test device code over here for interstitial as well control c and uh, over here control v uh, we should change our uh, add unit id from our add mob account google add mob and uh, over here this is my interstitial ads id so control c android studio and uh, over here control v okay now let's run our project in our mobile phone so let's open our app okay so over here guys as you could see this are real ads but test ads are showing over here and uh, let me show you interstitial ads when we'll open any article so when after reading this article when i will click on this back button it will show you this interstitial ads okay so guys uh, now i have showed you that how to implement banner and interstitial ads to your um, android web view app so guys uh, if you learned anything from this video i will request you to like this video uh, subscribe to my youtube channel press the bell icon so you will never miss any updates and uh, do follow me on instagram if you have any inquiries you could ask me over there thanks for watching